safety purposes have an activation switch that has to be pushed before the unit will operate. We have two buttons here that direct the blade. The lower button pushes the blade down through the hard drive. The upper, bu upper button retracts the blade as it comes up. So that's the, the, the cutting process would be to hit the activation button, lower the blade, raise the blade, take it out. That does one thing, it, it enables both hands, it requires both hands to be used so that there's never a chance of someone having their hand in under the blade during the cutting process. This is the end result of the demolition of the hard drive. Gloves are recommended because there are sharp edges on these that can cut your hands as you take them out of the Okay, the, this machine is set up for two modes of operation. One is intermittent and one's continuous. In intermittent mode, that's designed for use when you're only cutting a few hard drives. In that mode, when you activate the switches, the motor automatically starts. When you let go of the switches, the motor stops. If you're using this machine to cut a large volume of hard drives, we have a continuous mode. There's a switch underneath the housing and that's thrown, the machine is automatically started and will continue to run until you turn it off. And this way you aren't going through a, a large series of starts and stops on your motor if you're cutting a large number of hard drives. This way the motor runs continuously and the cutting process doesn't have to start and stop the motor. We've cut about 15 hard drives. 15 hard drives. And that's about the amount of debris we're going to get.